Again, the good news, I have not heard of any damage. And let's, uh, do we dare look back on the Mississippi state line? No. No. No, I'm kidding. Yes, we will. <laughs> Uh, let's let's do that very quickly. Um, we want to show you these storms coming up into Sumter County. Uh, there is quite a degree of hilidity down here, and these storms are in the process of crossing out of Mississippi into northern Sumter County. And there's a mezzo here. That's not a TVS, a mezzo. But again, those are wanting to move up through northern Sumter and northern Green. Uh, north, in this broad rotation right there, north of Interstate 5920. So I'm just saying here that if you are watching us in northern Sumter, northern Green, north of Interstate 5920, this could be a storm that goes into tornadic circulation here. We'll watch that. So let's go back to our storm that is way up in uh, uh, Blunt County. And uh, we will keep an eye on that. Uh, on all of this, of course, but we're going to go to the Blunt County storm. Um, and again, we have a possible tornado that is located now east of Garden City. It has crossed the county line, which is the Mulberry Fork. And again, it looks like it wants to go in this region here between Cleveland and Buntsville. The tornado circulation is right down here. I'm sorry, that is not it. I was looking at those, looking at the south of Holly Pond. The tornado circulation is here. It wants to go right down through here between Cleveland and Bluntsville. Bluntsville, Cleveland, right here. And uh, this is what we believe. The circulation will stay north of the city of Aniana easily. Aniana is not in the polygon warning. And again, their circulation here. Uh, Bluntsville is here. Cleveland is here. Keep on moving this way. Susan Moore is here. It's US 78 going over toward Gadsden. Will this be a player for Etowah County? We'll see. We'll see if it traverses Blunt County and survives. Uh, it is entering a part of the state where the air is much more stable. So we're hoping that this will weaken, and by the time it gets to Etowah County, it will not be as organized or as uh, severe at the point. So uh, we're going to keep a close eye on that. In fact, uh, let me just show you the uh, kind of where we are in terms of Gadsden here. All right, the tornadic circulation is located right in through here. Gadsden is right here. Storm moving probably a little bit like that. So I would say that it wants to cut across the northern part of Etowah County if it holds together. Let's look at the Gadsden Sky Cam, and you can see that uh, we've got a dew point of 67. Look at the rain total. You can't see that because of the map, but the rainfall total in Gadsden today, 3.21 inches. It's downright remarkable. So the last thing Gadsden needs is more rain. That could create some flooding problems. But again, back to the radar, and again, uh, the circulation does not look as good from this particular vantage point uh, that it did a few minutes ago. Maybe the storm is in the process of weakening. We'll take a look at the uh, display coming from uh, ITOP, HTX. Here it is. Right there. And that's a pretty good look at it from uh, that radar that's up in uh, North Alabama. You can see that it looks like the circulation wants to be a little closer to Bluntsville. It's fairly broad. That, that does not look like a classic tornado signature. The, the classic tornado signatures are tighter than that. And hopefully there's nothing to this. But again, uh, based on the kind of day we had and the atmospherics, it would certainly be a deal where you want to be in a safe place if you're close to this. And again, we're encouraging people from Bluntsville down to Cleveland. Uh, to be in a safe place. This is the area we're concerned about right in through here. Uh, Susan Moore, not Aniana, this is going to pass north of Aniana, Cleveland, but up at uh, 79 and 75 corridors, both of them uh, uh, folks need to be in a good safe place till this thing passes. 
and hopefully we'll uh, get by without uh, nothing too serious. But based on the kind of day we've had, you've got to take this thing seriously. Again, there's a look at it coming from the high top radar from the uh, National Weather Service in uh, Hun uh, Huntsville. That's uh, the radar is up in uh, Jackson County. And uh, again, uh, the, the only good thing I really have to report is we have heard no significant damage from this over the last uh, uh, 30 minutes or so. We had a report of a possible funnel club with this, but in terms of structural damage, heard of nothing, uh, nothing like that. But again, I will still continue to be very careful with that particular storm. But again, the uh, warning for Coleman County has expired. Uh, so if you're watching us in Coleman County, the tornado warning for you is officially over. And that's a good thing. The, uh, the one tornado warning in the state now is the tornado warning in effect for Blunt. And let's go back to, uh, we're going to check the uh, Birmingham radar and go back to the big view. All right, we've got a tornado warning now for uh, Sumter and Green. Goodness gracious. The Weather Service in Birmingham has posted a tornado warning for northern Sumter and parts of western Greene counties for this storm that is coming out of Mississippi. We'll take the radar data off and let me just show you a polygon. The bright red. Uh, this tornado warning does not include Utah. It does include Emel. Gainesville, Epps, on the Tom Bigby River. It does include Bully. It does not include Utah. Unbelievable. Wasn't as intense as it was before, but still a little bit intense tonight. As the front just is having a hard time making progress. Let's take a closer look at this thing. Pretty noisy look from Birmingham. We'll take a look at it from the Columbus, Mississippi next red. Yeah, it looks a lot better right here. Pretty decent evidence of storm rotation that's now a little east of Highway uh, 17. Again, that's Alabama 